have this new surface right over here attached to the creality and their tree so this is a magnetic flex plate so it is very easily attachable and detachable so the top section comes like this and you need to seal the bottom section into the heat plate currently since I didn't want to stick it entirely to my plate I just like stabilize it with these clippers over here what I'm going to do right now is to print some PLA objects on top of this flex plate and show you guys how easy or hard to remove them from this flex plate as you see in here. Um, for this test I'm keeping the bed heat to the 70 Celsius degree and my extruder will heat up to 204 degrees. Okay, currently the printed lines seems like adhered very easily. So we will see what's going to happen after that. My objects are going to have 3mm brim structure nearby them. Okay, when we look closely, it seems like the bed heat vision is good enough. It seems like doing the job properly. And we will see how it's going to turn out towards the end of this print. Compared to this flex plate, Creel Tender is also coming with the flexible plate too. So it reminds me of the Pursa Mark III's flex plate. But this is not magnetic. Over here, the sniff plate is Again, flex plate, but it is magnetic, so it is more easy to attach and detach that one without using any clippers. Right now I'm using clippers because I didn't want to use the sticker of the magnetic couple of this plate to attach it to my heated bed in Ender. So we will see how the results are going to turn up. Overall, the adhesion of the first layer is going great. One thing that I noticed in here, over this region, there was a little bit warping occurred in the, in between those lines as an overall currently the entire print is doing great this region over here for example did a great job and these regions are really adhere properly to this is also might be depending on the bad leveling of the entire system too i cannot say that this build plate is doing a bad job right now it is doing a good job as good as the flex plate that comes with the ender tree. Okay guys, right now our print has finished. It took 16 hours to complete itself. So we are going to check the adhesion of the bed plate when we are releasing the materials. So as you may remember, I put these clippers to stabilize our flex plate, which is the magnetic, because we didn't want to stick the entire plate to the aluminum over there. So let us remove the plate itself. And as you remember, this is a magnetic plate, so there are two separate parts. One part is where the materials are printed on, which is this blue section with the metric system on it. And this is underneath the magnetic section. And this is the second half, which is going to be stabilized on top of the aluminum plate. As you can see, it is already on top of our aluminum plate, but I didn't use its sticker system to stabilize it once and for all, because I want to check if this one works properly or not. So this is the bottom section, this is the top section. Let us focus on how this one is going to help us in terms of removing the object. So what I'm going to do is to bend this plate. Okay, as you see it was very very easy and nothing was on the plate. So. Everything is released properly. Let's take a close look into the bottom of the octopus print over here. So I will call this bed adhesion is successful. And you can see this is the octopus print with a VR glasses on it. And we have each octopus with the VR glasses on it. I find this is very funny. That's why I print them. You can see the Thingiverse links for these prints in the description below. So let's take a look at our build plate one more time so as you can see the prints like these PLA parts easily removable when it is cold but one thing to consider here we have the Ender Creality Ender 3's build plate which is a little bit too hard to remove these remaining parts when you remove them and also and also the flex plate of the Ender itself is a little bit tough to make this flexible motion but this magnetic flex plate is very easy to make these motion as you see in the video. So, is this a good thing or bad thing? I cannot judge on that, but it is definitely making your life easy to remove the objects from it. However, if you hold it like this for a while, it will be taking some time to make it flat again. So be careful with that. And the entire thing is very easy to attach and detach. As you can see, the magnets are doing the entire job for you. So I can, do I suggest this plate itself or not? I definitely suggest it because it is easy to print on and easy to remove the objects. But 
you are not going to regret the usage of the default and there's build plate. So this is really doing a great job. I never get failed with this one, but it was a little bit hard time to time to remove the objects from it, but it was really, very really useful. So this is the Creel Tender Series build plate, and this is the magnetic flex plate, which is much more flexible than the Ender's build plate. So the judgment is yours.